Territory has come out against Trudeau's Arctic drilling ban. Yukon Premier Sandy Silver says that he opposes the ban because it takes control out of the North's hands to make decisions about their economy and own source revenue. All three of the northern regions are disappointed with the lack of consultation coming from the federal government on this decision. But then there's the fact that the feds aren't keeping up with their pledge to consult with and improve relationships with First Nations groups. This, of course, was among many election mandates that the Liberals have broken their promises on. First Nations groups have stated that they're coming forward with the Premier of the Yukon to deliver a consistent message even though each self-governing group has different priorities. This comes after the Premiers of both Nunavut and the Northwest Territories slammed Trudeau for similar reasons where all three say that the federal government has too much control over decisions made in their regions. Both the Northwest Territories and the Yukon have agreements with the federal government to increase control over lands and resources, while Nunavut is in talks with the Liberals to transfer more control to that region. Premier of Nunavut, Peter Taptuna, claims it's very difficult to build much-needed infrastructures like schools and health centers because 93% of funds come from the federal government and that territory doesn't have the authority to make decisions about generating their own wealth. Combined, the Mackenzie Delta and the Beaufort Sea hold an estimated 67 trillion cubic feet in natural gas and 7 billion barrels of oil, which equals billions of dollars of potential revenue for the territories if developed. Premier of the Northwest Territories, Bob McLeod, says that his region is counting on the Prime Minister to replace the billions in lost revenue from keeping these resources in the ground. At the end of the day, many of these communities want to become self-sustaining by developing their resources and the Prime Minister simply didn't ask them what they wanted, even though agreements are being reached to give up some federal control to the North. And talk about hypocrisy. Justin Trudeau campaigned on making consultation with First Nations a priority and claimed that Indigenous groups weren't being included enough, but then doesn't consult with First Nations in the territories about resource development. And then there's the permits that he approved for the Site C Dam in BC that a provincial and federal report found that there would be irreversible impacts on Treaty 8 land. Then there was the abandonment of the promise of adopting the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People and the green lighting of the Kinder Morgan Pipeline that just 39 out of 120 First Nations groups support. I'm not saying I don't agree with these decisions. Canada desperately needs pipeline infrastructure to get our resources to market. I'm saying that Trudeau is a hypocrite and it seems more like he uses Canadian Indigenous communities for PR and photo ops rather than doing anything significantly beneficial for their communities. We're talking about a Prime Minister that suggested Indigenous youth need canoe shacks when reservations are struggling with things like crisis level suicide rates, addictions, water supply and housing issues. He's completely out of touch. The Premier of the Yukon, four ministers and seven First Nations chiefs, along with the Grand Chief of Council for that territory, met with the Liberals last week to discuss the issues facing the North. Justin Trudeau later doubled down over his Arctic drilling ban at a town hall, defending his decision by suggesting that the science isn't settled on whether offshore activity can be done safely. But really, it only shows that once again the Prime Minister hasn't listened to these communities that are counting on the development of these resources for their prosperity. And he's actually getting in their way rather than being the champion of First Nations groups that he claims to be and at their cost. I did reach out to the Premier of the Yukon and First Nations Chiefs for comment, but they were unavailable due to travel and meeting schedules at the time of the request. For the Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for our YouTube channel below if you haven't already so that you don't miss any of the content that you won't find anywhere else.